Well, this is it, Teach at Passion Patanath here in Kathmandu, Nepal. Let's go have a look. It's pretty crazy outside the temple complex. The Tej Festival, Ladies Festival, or Haratalika Tej, is celebrated near the end of the monsoon season every year in Nepal. No foreigners allowed in today, no men allowed in. Just the ladies, just a ladies' day at Pashupatana. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Those are the rules. Them the rules, no men allowed. So I totally get that. Anyways, it's, that's why they call it Women's Day and Ladies' Day uh, at Pashupatanath here. And so I'm just going to walk around a little bit. But you'll, there'll be lots of women actually walking around Kathmandu today dressed in red. So it's not going to be the only time that I'll be able to share some of the Teach Festival. So let's, uh, let's just go see what's going on around here. Tej is a three-day festival, starting out with a feast on day one. Well, I was nice. I got in a little ways anyway, so maybe we can see a little bit of this. This is pretty cool, actually. I don't know how long I'll be here before they kick me out, though. Thousands of army and police here for security because a lot of these women are wearing lots of gold jewelry so it's to make them feel safe they also have like medical staff here because today these women are fasting so they have support in case they're feeling sick or, or, or tired they have uh, medical support here as well which is pretty cool here could be the end of the tour. This looks like the final point before there's no way I'm going inside. So I'm learning more and more walking around here that they have a, like a lot of the complex kind of closed off to men today and uh, foreigners. I mean, foreigners are never allowed inside the actual temple itself, but um, there are some places where you can walk around. So I'm learning and discovering this so I can pass this on to you. But this market area here, uh, it, it, you see lots of police and army around, but they just let you go right through here. And this is really cool because it's a mix. I mean, there's men and women here, but a lot of ladies dressed in red here. So it's really amazing. This is day two when women fast and visit a Shiva temple. In this case, one of the most important temples in Nepal, Pashupatanath. It's here where women make a prayer for the long life of their husband and a strong family. Unmarried women also participate in the festival, praying for a good husband. I was so excited to get a chance to see all of these women, mostly dressed in red, who seem to be in great spirits, dancing and singing outside the temple complex. Hard to believe many of them haven't eaten or had anything to drink since the night before. It was quite evident that much care was given to ensure the safety and health of the women visiting Pashupatanath, from the extra security to the medical aid available. Women attend a Shiva temple like Pashupatanath in order to make an offering to Shiva and his goddess wife Parvati in hopes that blessings will be granted to their husband and family.
Over 600,000 women were expected to visit Pashupatana Temple for prayers on day two of Teach. I was extremely lucky to get even closer to the complex where thousands of women were lining up to visit the temple. So it kind of seems if you smile and you're nice, you can get access to some places where you get a little more closer up in the temple complex, which is uh, pretty nice. Hundreds of volunteers were at Pashupatanath to help out the festival, including these boys and girl scouts. <laughs> Pashupatanath is one of seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites found in the Kathmandu Valley. It's located five kilometers northeast of Kathmandu, close to Tribuvan International Airport. Pashupatanath is the oldest Hindu temple in Nepal, established in 400 BC. Some buildings currently on site date back to the 11th, 14th and 15th centuries. So I notice if you have a guide, you might have a chance of getting inside, not right in the temple, but at least more inside. But to be honest with you, most of the fun is outside. Everybody's lining up to wait to pray. Outside is like dancing and more of a party atmosphere. The fall season in Nepal is jam-packed with festivals. It seems like every day something exciting is taking place. It's truly remarkable. I was so glad that I got a chance to see Tej this year and enjoy watching the joy that was shared by these extremely generous women. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. There are more videos to watch from East Asia, Southeast Asia, and South Asia, so subscribe to the channel now. Support the channel by becoming a patron. Check out my Patreon page to see all the offers, including exclusive content. From the Pashupatanath Temple Complex in Nepal, this is John Sabo. Thanks so much for watching.